welcome children to another session of maths class today we start chapter 15 of your book probability now this probability is a very interesting chapter uh you come across words like might by chance possible every day for example if i say it might rain today uh chances of india's winning the cricket match is 50% so this situations occur every day in our life now probability tells us how to find a numerical value of such situations now suppose when i say it might rain today there is some element of uncertainty in it also with it some uh, amount of certainty with probability we will find the numerical value of such uncertainty in a given situation again for example uh, if i say i toss a coin there are two possible outcomes either you get a head or you get a tail you do not know what so here you do not know the outcome this type of situations we call here random experiment that is tossing a coin is an experiment getting a head or a tail is an event you do not know the result therefore we call it a random experiment some other examples suppose you roll a die what is a die you all play ludo you know what is a die so when you roll a die what do you get you get either 1 or 2 or 3 4 5 or 6 you get any one of these outcomes but you do not know what will you get so this is again a random experiment now suppose uh, i say when i toss, toss a coin i say head that is when the coin is tossed i want a head so head is a favorable outcome and what are the total outcomes or possible outcomes either head or tail so there are only two possible outcomes okay so favorable outcome is head one possible outcomes is two so this way by this formula we can find the probability of any event in this case it is the uh, probability of getting head so what is the probability of getting a head number of favorable outcomes that is head one and total number of possible outcomes two so probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 okay similarly we take uh, the case of rolling a die what are the possible outcomes there are six possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 okay now suppose i want uh, an even number how many even numbers are there 2 4 6 three even numbers so favorable outcomes are 3 2 4 and 6 three favorable outcomes and possible outcomes is 6 so probability of getting an even number is 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 okay now suppose i say uh rolling a die i want a number less than 7 so what do i get any number i get 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 all the numbers are less than 7 so how many times you roll the die you will always get a number less than 7 okay so this is called a shear event so probability of a shear event is 1 now suppose i say another example i have a box which is uh, which has say 10 red balls i take out a ball at random suppose i want a blue ball is it possible never 
how many times i if take out all the balls i will never get a blue ball it is an impossible event so the probability of an impossible event is zero okay so we have seen probability of a sheer event is one impossible event is zero so probability of any event always lies between zero and one zero and one included that is probability can never be less than zero or it can never be more than one okay so probability you get always in fractions again probability of any event plus probability of e a bar we say not an event equal to 1 this you will realize better when we go to the exercise and do a few sums uh, for example suppose again tossing a coin probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 and what is the probability of getting a tail same 1 by 2 you add both you get 1 so probability of an event that is getting a head plus not getting a head equal to 1 this point will be more clear when you do the sums so understood children i hope you all understood this basic points you need to know the basic points and then you will be very easily able to do the sums of probability so okay children so let it be this much for today we will continue it again in our next session thank you